The opening of the film is a black screen. I passed away when I was 28 years old, a voice says. In the back of a pickup truck, a young George Foreman travels with his siblings Roy, Mary, and Gloria. Nancy, their mother, travels in the front passenger seat. They are left in front of a dilapidated house. Nancy divides a tiny hamburger into four pieces that evening. Mary gestures for George to wait just as he is about to begin eating his slice. After saying the grace, Nancy is not seen eating anything. Mary gives George a portion of her piece after George finishes his and remarks that he is so hungry that he could devour the table. George, a poor student, wears worn out clothes and shoes at school. He is called a poor man by a black student who eats lunch with his classmates. George is ridiculed for going without food and is beaten by the teacher. He charges the student and threatens to make fun of him again. George leaves when the teacher enters the room. In Houston, George meets a friend who offers him a flask. They see a drunk man, but the drunk guy isn't drunk. They run away, and a cop car chases them. George manages to mask his scent by spreading mud slash poop on his face. He discovers a job corp advertisement and visits his mother, who supports him. He is sent to California by Job Corp and meets Desmond, a maths genius, who has a flask. In his backpack, George discovers a new pair of Converse shoes from his mother. George, a boxing gym fighter, is knocked out by a fighter and resents the situation. He learns to feel through his steps and joins forces with a trainer and promoter, who are familiar with George's potential. George is able to call his mom, and she is disappointed to learn that he's fighting again. George says it's not fighting. It's a sport with rules. George is able to win a few fights. And Doc says it's too late for him to go to the Olympics in a year, but in five years, he'll be ready. George is disappointed to hear that. After one year, George wins the gold medal at the Olympics against Russian fighter Jonas Sepulis, causing a chant of foreman. His friend, impressed by his success, views George as representing a country that doesn't value the black community. George uses this as motivation for a winning streak. George meets Paula at the train station and they date and marry. George wins the championship fight against Joe Frazier, becoming the world's new heavyweight champion. At a party, George offers to make Desmond his money man if Desmond quits drinking. George finds a pretty girl in his room and they spend the night together. Muhammad Ali insults George on TV, vowing to fight him anytime. George attends his daughter's birthday party, making cooking suggestions. His mother thanks God, and his sister Mary announces they are pregnant. Desmond invests George's money in stocks, while Paula confronts him privately, urging him to come clean. George focuses on his upcoming fight against Ali. Ali boasts in front of sports columnists, while George overhears and overhears. George's strategy involves leaning against the ropes and taking punches, exhausting George. Ali punches George out, winning the fight. George speaks to his daughter, Paula, and Nancy, who comfort him about his decision to fire his trainer and promotions guy. George performs a boxing exhibition, but is heckled by Ali, leading to a locker room altercation. Meanwhile, Mary and a baby face critical circumstances, and George prays for their survival. The baby is named George. George fights Jimmy Young, but is unable to deliver a finishing blow and loses by unanimous decisions. He wakes up to hear voices and blacks out, then wakes up to see everyone huddled around him. He gives a sermon at church about loving fighting and decides to give his life to God. He sees Mary in the crowd and decides to ask Ali for forgiveness instead of a rematch. They part as friends, filled with respect for each other. George, a man who has changed his ways, seeks forgiveness from Paula and vows to be there for his children. He preaches on a street corner and is ordained as an ordained minister. Seven years later, a grandmother asks for help for her grandson, but George insists boxing isn't the answer. George realizes if he had met the young man where he was, he could have made a difference. He meets Desmond at a rundown gym and plans to turn it into a youth center. Desmond agrees to move money around to afford it, but Desmond drinks the last of his flask before leaving. The youth center is a success, but power goes out, and George discovers that the bill hasn't been paid. Desmond made poor choices, leaving George with no money. Nancy arrives, and George finds Desmond in a bar, chases him, and discovers he lost all the money. George, a successful boxer, returns to boxing after a successful commercial for barbecue sauce. Mary, a believer in God's vision, tells George she sees him as the heavyweight champion. George approaches boxer Doc, who teases him about his weight gain. George works hard, and Mary prepares him for a fight with his son. 
Despite initial doubts, George wins his first fight against Steve Zuski, leading to increased support and more fights. George resumes selling his name and face rights for products, creating an affable persona and transforming his fighting style. He makes jokes on Johnny Carson shows and overcomes nervous tension. At the bank, an employee informs George and Mary that his money troubles are over, and the George Foreman grill will generate income for generations. However, George remains unsatisfied, as he believes Mary's vision needs to be realized. George, 45, faces Michael Moore for the World Championship, a 19-year-old underdog. Using his head, George finds Moore's flaws and uses them against him. He wins with a knockout, kneeling to give God the praise. George goes into retirement and still preaching. Since he gave his rights to the George Foreman Grill for $187 million, his youth center has been financially supported forever. For the remainder of their lives, Ali and George remain friends and communicate frequently. The movie ends there. If you like our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our new video. Thanks.